What's up, everybody? Typical Gamer here, and I'm here with a friend of mine, Iru399, and you might know him from his GTA 5 videos. What's up, Iru? Hey. Well, you might not know me. If you don't, oh. <laughs> I've been doing it since... When did I start? I started that back 2012, started doing GTA 5, so... It's going good. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting hyped. Stuff's coming out soon. It's, it's going good at the moment. How are you yeah, doing, is. anyway? You should come out of nowhere, which is just mental. Like all yeah, of this, a sudden. this channel has exploded, and I have to thank everybody who's commented, favorite, subscribed on everything, and uh, yeah, it's great, and now I get to talk to people like you, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Some people may see that as a bad thing, but <laughs> we, heard nothing we, but we will stay positive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Iru does do GTA videos, and he does very good ones that you should check out, too, and there's going to be a link in the description, too. So, today we're going to be talking about the GTA Online uh, preview and the game modes customization and the MMO aspect that may be involved in GTA Online. And we're going to be seeing a, tra a trailer, I think it was, Iru? Something to do with gameplay video. So I'd imagine that's very similar to, you know, what they did for the single player gameplay. Yeah. I think it was something like that. I've always said it would probably be a series because it's a, it's a thing that works. They did it for Red Dead, Max Payne. L.A. Noir, I think they had it a few times. It's just something that they've done, and it's it's caught on. I really like it. It's informative. You can see what's going on. It's all good. I don't know about the previews, though. I think I might have to leave you, you to do some guessing yeah. work on that, because I, I, I don't know. I've not been able to work it out yet. Yeah, I think there's definitely going to be some um, previews from, like, credible magazines, such as, like, Game Informer and stuff like that. And then there's also going to be an interview with CVG on the president. See, of interviews Rockstar. I like more than magazines because with a magazine, it's I don't know. It's, I, f I think it's easier to just snip things away so you've got a couple of lines. Whereas if you're just asking questions, you've got so much more there. You can hear it. You can turn a voice. They can actually explain it. You can get a lot more in a short video than you can on words on a page. You know what I mean? Exactly. I like yeah, stuff I like that. I, I'll probably have a look at it some point. Is that all coming out on Thursday, is it, I'd imagine? Because uh, previews... The on Friday. I thought, the the only idea I came up with the previews is, you know, ages ago, Game Informer and that, they did that big old spread, didn't they? I think it was last... Was it December, September? December, yep. Yeah, it was last year. And that, that was pretty cool. That was one of the biggest reveals we had seen of GTA since and its announcement in 2011. So I think... I think... Because they, they also, when they wrote that, they saw a 20-minute clip, didn't they? Or a sec section for them to write on, and they had yeah. many interviews. I think. Do you think that they're going to put that out as well, or? Yeah, they're definitely going to put um, quite a bit out because I don't think it's going to be the extent because I think they had the exclusive coverage Game yeah. Informer at that point. I mean, it's going to be pretty big, but I think a lot of media outlets are going to have access to the information this time. Yeah. So we're going to get a lot more variety, maybe a lot more uh, unique details coming from the different sources, which is so, good. I like yeah. that. See it. I don't like it when you've got no choice. You know yeah, what I mean? Like when, when, on it. Yeah, when it's just this guy you can go and have a look at. It's like with the well, the, the five channels like we do. You can never listen to you, you can never listen to me. There's a bunch of others you can listen to. So if you don't like what I've got to say, there's probably someone you will. And if you go exactly. in to look for information, some are going to be more reliable than others. So I like it. I think the, the previous thing will be just as interesting as the gameplay video. Yeah. I think so too. And I think um, going to people like you and me for um, all the information bundled up into one video, I think that's going to be the best option for uh, everybody. Shameless plug. For anybody with a with a short attention span, you can come on over to me because I too have a short attention span. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go on to... I want to talk a bit about the game modes. Like, Can we expect... You played Red Dead, right? I loved Red Dead. Didn't play it much. The oh, okay. multiplayer side of things. Well, there's um, there's co-op in Red Dead, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to talk a bit. Do, can we expect that in there? Can we also expect cops and uh, like cops and criminals, cops and crooks? Like what kind of customization and maybe an MMO feel that they're gonna go for? So let's start with um, let's start with that customization. Yeah, <laughs> that would <laughs> be start... good. I think it would be good to uh, this mixes it in with the MMO. I think it would be very good to have a free roam like you did in 4 and in Red Dead. And all of the, all of the or some of the uh, buildings you could go in to buy things, weapons, clothes, that are in the single player 
should also be open in the multiplayer. So you can go yes. in, buy your clothing with your money that you've saved up from killing people or winning races. You go in there, you change your clothing, you come back out. There's no need to go into some player model screen which is five minutes away from the action. You don't have to go out and rejoin a game. You haven't got to do this, you haven't got to do that. It would be nice to be able to maybe uh, customise your cars. This is where you get into the whole MMO side of things. Isn't yes, it? exactly. It's really creating that feel of a, a separate entity from yourself, and it's like an online profile that it's it gives personality, and you get to touch it up. But um, there's a lot pointing towards it because yeah, there it, is. It's not they're calling it GTA Online. It's not Grand Theft Auto Five multiplayer. So exactly. it takes it away from being a tag on to GTA. It's a separate thing on its own, which is very very good. If they're doing that, I think that's yeah, whew, it'd be brilliant. The only thing that pushes me away from the MMO theory is that um, if you do pre-order, or not pre-order, if you get the Special or Collector's Edition, you can play as, I believe it's Nico. I think there's is, a pack of characters. Yeah. So, maybe that going to be like a I separate think... thing, and then maybe the customization will be in there, or is there just select models? Wasn't that in the single player? I can't, was it, I can't remember if it was in the multiplayer. I know there was something, something for both. I think, I don't know about that one. Maybe you could customize Nico in that, because it's only a skin, isn't it? And you could just... That'd be an interesting one. I think customization and all that will be in multiplayer, though. That'd be good. That'd be fun. Yeah. Well, I know everyone's looking forward to... Because there will be apartments and stuff, I'm pretty sure, in houses. I mean, you see the guy in that building, and it looks like he's high up. Like, he had to either, you know, buy it to get in, or there's an entrance, maybe. I think it'll just be an entrance. I don't know about buying places in five yeah. you I think, see you do have money right yeah like in the corner the and show. that's where you'd get your cars and that. i think the closest we might see would be having a gang hideout where you can very good there get that's in there thing. in certain games but they, again it, it how would you sort that out if you leave exactly that's you know what um, or it could be that you buy entrance to that specific place and once you go out of the game and go back in Anybody who's got entrance to that just goes in and out. So the people in there change, but the place, you've still got access to that. Hmm. That would be a way around that, wouldn't it? Yeah, that could be a way around Almost that. Almost like a, I hate to bring it up, RuneScape. Yeah. You ever played right, that? I just, I just read that the um, the custom characters is for Grand Theft Auto Online. That's good. So, That's good. It says Grand Theft Auto Online Character Creation System. So it's got to be there. It's got to be there. So, <laughs> you know... It, yeah, so I actually just read that um, the custom characters for... This is what it says. Custom characters for Grand Theft Auto Online. Get classic Grand Theft Auto characters to use within the Grand Theft Auto Online character creation system. Which, to me, that seems like you can create a character and customize them. I love it. I think it's going to be good. I think Thursday <laughs> will be a bit of a revolutionary day. It should be. Yeah, and also about the garages, too. I mean, they're giving you, in the special edition and collector's edition, they're giving you the high-end chameleon electric car. Now, I don't know about you, but it probably needs a place to be stored so that you can pick it up. So, you know what? I'm leaning towards there being garages and properties and character customization, but we'll have to wait until Thursday, won't we, Iru? I oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm looking sure forward to it. It's going to be a good couple of days. Yeah, so it's going to be a very fun couple of days, and, you know, Thursday's going to be a big day for uh, you and me, uh, and we're both going to be reporting the news. You everybody, be sure yeah, it, yeah. I everybody. mean, I'm going to be uploading probably, I mean, when this goes up, I'll probably have a couple of days. Thursday will probably be at least a two or three upload day. I like uploading a fair bit, and it's not because I just want to oversaturate people. I've just got a lot to say. Hopefully. A lot of good things to say. <laughs> I'd like to think so. I mean, some people disagree, but uh, I'm growing. People like it. I like it. I love doing it. And hopefully your people will come on over and have a look and mesh with my people, which would be very nice. But uh, sure, yeah, guys. if you enjoyed Iru's commentary, you can go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I'll be putting a link in the description. And also, if you enjoyed this commentary too, and you're new, be sure to uh, subscribe to this channel as Do well. It. Press that like button, guys. You'll, re you'll regret it otherwise. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And if you enjoyed this, be sure to press that like button. As always, be sure to tune in to my daily show at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and 11 p.m. UK. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and peace out.